Hello and welcome to The Garage. This video is going to be the first in what I hope to be a series of videos which are going to be designed for the total beginner in quadcopters. The idea is to take you from start to finish, from understanding what quadcopters are, uh, understanding what the components do, helping you make selections on what components you should choose to build your quadcopter. We're going to go through a build video and hopefully we'll um, also go on to do a flight video and some tuning, etc. So the inspiration for this video was really up at our local model flying club. There's a, a few guys that have expressed interest in the quads, uh, asking the same kind of questions that I asked when I was uh, first starting in quads. And, um, you know, I'd like, I'd like to encourage people to, to get involved with the, uh, the hobby. So I wanted to help as much as I could. Now, we, uh, I, I pointed them towards videos online from um, the likes of Painless 360 and RC Model Views who, you know, have got brilliant videos, start to finish videos really on, on quads and, and uh, the technologies involved. But uh, I wanted to do a bit more, so uh, I thought I'd um, I'd try and give it a go myself. So please be kind. This is the first time I've done this kind of uh, tutorial video. I'm sure I will get better at it as I get as I go on. Okay, so let's take a look at what the the main components are required to fly. Right. So this this is really noddy stuff. So you're going to need a radio to fly. You're going to need a quad to fly. And if you want to fly FPV, you're going to need some goggles or something to see the image that's sent from the quad. So let's start with the transmitter. So this is a radio transmitter. This is a, a FreeSky Tranis, pretty popular with a lot of the, uh, a lot of people who fly quads, but it's, it can be used for helicopters, fixed wing, etc. I'm not going to go into very much detail on this. It's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a radio transmitter. And we'll come back to that when we look at configuration. Um, if you fly radio control models already, you probably know this quite well. So let's move that out. Okay, so we've got the uh, the FPV goggles here. And FPV is first person view. So this is the, the idea of flying an aircraft as if you were sat in it. So rather than um, what we would traditionally do, which is line of sight, i.e. you watch the aircraft as it flies around. Um, FPV is a whole different way of doing it and it's 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 brilliant fun. I mean it's really really good fun <laughs> um, and once you try you will never want to fly anything else I'm sure. But anyway so goggles required for FPV. Okay now we have the quad. So this is a um, Lumineer um, this is a what is this? This is a QAVX, I think it is. Yes, it is. Yes, this is one of my mini quads. Um, it's a typical type of quad. It's got all the main components um, that a quad's got. So let's have a quick, quick run through, and then we'll go into a bit more detail for for each of the components. So um, obviously, it starts really with a frame. <laughs> That's stating the obvious. Um, your quadcopter. It needs a good sturdy frame. It's what protects all of your expensive electronic components that sit inside. Um, when you crash, you want something that's pretty firm. This one is um, carbon fiber. Um, the majority, I, I suspect, are carbon fiber, but there are different different types of frame around, like HDPE, I think, um, plastic, 3D printed stuff, all, all sorts. But these have become like the de facto type of frame, uh, um, carbon fiber frames. On the end of your frame is four arms, and on those arms are quadcopter motors. Okay, so um, these are obviously the most important thing, I guess. Um, these have props on, and these are things that give you lift and control. Attached to each of the motors is an ESC, electronic speed controller. So if you fly aeroplanes, it's no different from your uh, electronic speed controller on there obviously they're a little bit smaller um, and these are responsible for essentially controlling the the motor um, and these are connected to your battery and to your flight controller so your flight controller that's sat in there that's sat in there will give you a give controls out to the ESC which will speed up or slow down your 
your props, or your motors, and therefore your props. Okay, so frame, four motors, four props, four ESCs. Okay. Then if we look over here, let's start perhaps at the front. So we have the FPV camera. So this is um, this is a camera that you're going to be looking through uh, when you fly FPV. Um, and this is connected to a video transmitter, which is actually this thing here. So this will receive the signal from the camera. It will encode it into the right frequency, video frequency, and then it will send it through your video antenna back to your goggles. Okay, so you've got camera, video transmitter, a video antenna. Okay, now, um, what else have we got in here? Okay, well, in this quad, we have a flight controller. And all good quads will have flight controllers. In fact, I would say all quads have flight controllers. Okay, so we have in here the flight controller. So the flight controller is your brains of your quadcopter. And that, along with the software that runs on there, is a thing that really makes uh, flying these things possible. There's a lot of stuff going on here. They're, they're, they, they do a really good job at uh, hiding quite a complex process. So um, these, these uh, run various different types of software. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at Betaflight. It's a, the, by far the most popular, I would say, um, flight controller software. But that runs on these, on these boards and um, controls essentially the motors, really. And the last thing on here is the uh, video, sorry, the radio transmitter. Okay, uh, sorry, the radio receiver. So this is the thing that uh, receives the commands from your tr video, uh, radio transmitter. Um, and that's obviously connected to your flight controller and a whole load of magic happens where they translate the commands into various uh, inputs, into various outputs into your motor. So that's, that's, really, that's really it. That's what's on your quad. So um, although they look quite complicated, they're actually quite simple. I mean, there's a lot more going on in there, but they, they're, they're not as complex as they, they might first look. Oh, uh, one thing I have forgotten. You'll need a battery. Obviously. So that probably covers off the majority of what I wanted to talk about. I mean, it's a very sort of fast and furious overview, but the idea was just to give you the view from 10,000 feet and then we'll start looking individually at each of the different components.